All right, this video is going to be quick. Uh, so I've got a GitHub project here. It's a Go project, and I want to have fancy releases like this, where we get checksums and different uh, builds for different operating systems and source code zipped and, and uh, tarred and gz'd, all that fun stuff. Uh, there's actually a fun way to do this with a tool called Go Releaser. I don't think I have a tab open for it, so let's find one. Uh, so Go Releaser helps make this a reality. Um, it's a tool that you can install locally on your machine. And uh, once you have it installed, you can run uh, the Go Releaser CLI and it will take care of all this for you. Even better, though, is that you can go into your repo and you can set up a GitHub workflow like this. So I've got a Go Releaser workflow right here. Uh, it's got a name of Go Releaser on push for tags, any tag. So anytime I push any tag, this will run. Uh, this allows me to get into my terminal and do something like get tag like this and then get push tags. And whenever I do that, it will run Go Releaser. So it'll pull my uh, repository to this workflow. Uh, it'll build everything and then push it to GitHub as a release, which is just fantastic. Um, so the jobs here, sorry, one more thing, permissions. Um, there's information in the Go release documentation about which permissions you need, but for generating releases, all you need is contents right. Uh, if you want to manage like uh, packages, and I think if you wanted to publish a Docker image, you would need packages right. And then if you wanted this to close uh, issue milestones, you would need issues right. Um, for my sake, all I need is contents. Okay, so I've got a job set up. It's called Go Releaser. It runs on Ubuntu Latest. There are a couple steps. We check out the source code. Bada bing. Uh, we set up Go, and I'm using the stable Go version. Uh, probably want to uh, set this to a specific value at some point, or run this in a matrix, maybe. Um, maybe not. The matrix might be overkill. And uh, then I have run Go Releaser. Uh, so there's a comment here, more assembly might be required, Docker logins, GPG, et cetera. It all depends on your needs. Um, honestly, I don't think most people will need this for their open source projects. If you have private repos or something similar, you might need extra steps um, or an enterprise situation, you might need extra steps. But for a, an open source public repo, I think this should be fine. Uh, and then I've got the Go Releaser job. So this pulls in the Go Releaser action, so we don't have to actually run Go Releaser or configure this ourselves. There's an action that already takes care of it. Um, and then you choose which distribution you want to use, uh, the args you want to pass to it. Um, and with the distribution, there's there's a pro version of Go Releaser. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the pro version includes, but the open source non-pro version has worked fine for me. Um, you can specify your, your version bindings here. Uh, and then the args that you pass to go releaser. So in my case, I want to call release and I'm passing in the clean flag. Um, the last thing is that your environment needs to have a GitHub token and it just needs to be your GitHub token. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this, this is a secret that you don't generate. This is a secret that's provided by GitHub for you. Uh, so all you have to do is reference it like this. And this allows go releaser to take actions on your behalf in GitHub. Um, and, and that action that we're doing is writing the contents to releases. So you can see the permissions here kind of determine how that can be used. Uh, and then if we go to releases here, uh, you can see that there we go. That's how this works. Hope that was helpful. Um, set up go releaser if you're doing CLIs or if you're doing binaries that need to be published of any sort. Uh, it's, it's really, really helpful. Thanks and have a great day.